It's an overcast Tuesday here at uh, Lake Whitney State Park in Texas. Just had my breakfast. Uh, let me just show you around the campsite so you just can reconnoiter it and uh, get an idea of how we roll, how the Garza Limer household rolls. Let me turn around the camera. First, there's our truck. It's parked this way because I didn't want to park it over there under the tree because under the tree, we recently, two days ago, there's a very bad windstorm and knocked down quite a few limbs. Large limbs, not tiny limbs. And the crews have been coming around and cleaning up. So there's my tr truck right there to the left. And uh, it's out of the way of danger. At least I hope. I'm in Site 16. So as you can see in the front, I have my power tongue jack up and level. Two 30-pound propane tanks and my two uh, AO lithium uh, batteries inside there. AO lithium, lithium batteries, not to be redundant. Of course, I have my side marker cameras. They work absolutely flawlessly. And there's my slide out. And I'm at site 16. I have my stabilizer jacks working. Put a little pad under them. Again, they're not leveling jacks. They're stabilizer jacks. So that works out for me. And I level this side. Of the travel trailers lift up this side to make everything pretty much flat. There's my powered cable, and it goes to my uh, power wash dog, 30 amp smart surge protector plus EPO. Works very nicely. I have learned that I can't use the microwave and the air conditioning at the same time in my RV. This will go plop. This circuit will go plop. It's 30 amp. So I have my Flexilla. I try to use my 10 foot Flexilla that I just bought. You know, water hose, but uh, it wasn't long enough. Should have moved up another, should have moved my RV another two, three, four feet, but uh, I'm not that bright, okay? So there's my 25 foot hose, Flexilla, and then I have my uh, sewage hose and the supports right there. Like I've shown you on many occasions, if you're a fan of this channel, is that I have my uh, pressure regulator set to around 30, 35, and then I have this modest water filter. I'm thinking about getting a simple dual stage water filter for around 70 bucks, and that's about it. So there's my setup. What do you think? It's dripping right there from the air conditioning, it's dripping right about there. And I'd like to thank the folks at uh, RV Life, RV Trip Wizard, for helping support this channel. I greatly appreciate it. Their modest donation of their uh, software and website is greatly appreciated. I have my steps out, and there we are. Again, I have a backup camera. From the folks at Hellview and two side marker cameras. They work flawlessly. I mean, absolutely flawlessly. This is something pretty funny you might find funny. I got this, I think it was at uh, Harbor Freight, and I stuck it on this little contrivance that I ordered online. I stick it right here, and at night, this is like a little night light. And it's solar powered, and I've had it for about a year and a half. Here's my wife, she's reading a book. And uh, we're gonna be going walking down that way. Down that way to the right is the shower facilities. This is the overflow parking and quite a few families are hanging out. And it's quite humid. As you can see from the sky, it's quite overcast etc etc let's get a quick shot of these flowers and then we'll move on to the next segment 
on this video. We have various flowers, different types of flowers, different types of wildflowers. Texas is well known for its wildflowers. Let me give you a tight shot. Maybe you know the name of this flower. I don't know. Do you know the name of this wildflower? Uh, leave your kind and friendly comments below. Tell me, what is this flower? Tell me, Jesus, this is uh, so-and-so. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it.